I'm going to be ranking every single season five promo card in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to F tier. And we have every single promo card that has dropped in season five, ranging all the way from the Radiant set to the highlight reel, the 16 bit promo, the new edition cards. We got the out of position. We got all of those cards. We do have two, two RJ Barrett's. I did think I messed up there, but all around guys we have every single card that dropped in season five and i'll be ranking them from s all the way down to f tier just want to get you guys this video now that season five has pretty much come to an end and we have all the cards come out in promo packs just want to get you guys a tier list and rank all of the cards that did drop in season five so quickly before we get into it let me know in the comment section down below some of your guys favorite cards to use in season five like who is your guys mvp of the season five who did you guys have the most success with and and what card did you guys have the most fun with as well but starting off the tier list is going to be al Horst as you guys can probably imagine we got over 100 cards to go over so i can't go in depth on every single card but al horford he's six foot ten at the shooting guard spot has a capable jump shot and he's going to be a very good defender i'll start him off in c tier the tier list is going to be a little bit hard to rank at first just going to take some time to get a lot of cards on here to see where cards do fit perfectly but for now i think al horford gonna go in c tier and then anthony davis is gonna go in b tier i want to give myself some room to work with because i'm not sure how many great cards we're gonna have to go over so Anthony Davis going to start out in B tier. Not the biggest fan of his jump shot, but still a very good power forward. He's got great defensive stats. He's obviously got great animations on the defensive end as well. He's just six foot ten with not the greatest jump shot at the power forward position. Allen Iverson, respectfully, got to go in F tier. I mean, he's six foot. I know there might be some people that are really good with this AI card or really like him, but respectfully for going off the top, you know, 100 cards from season five, he's just got to go in F tier, in my opinion. Ricky Davis, easy S tier. Now, I'm not, ex I'm not exactly sure how many cards I do want to have in S tier. I think it'll probably range from like 10 to 15. Most likely like 12 to 15 cards will be in the S tier category. And I would say Ricky Davis is easily a top 15 card to drop in season five. I mean, just an off Offensive, uh, offensive powerhouse, really good jump shot, amazing dribble six. I do think he's probably got to go in S tier. Anthony Simons, I mean, I think the perfect spot for him is D tier. Okay, point guard, six foot three, good at going to the rim, but a little bit undersized and not the greatest of defenders. Scotty Barnes, I'm going A tier. I think he's a really underrated point guard, probably a top five point guard in my opinion. Plays really good defense. He's six foot eight and has some really good dunking animations, really good at going to the basket. And I feel like his jump shot really isn't that bad. So for me, Scotty Barnes is going to be in the A tier tier category nicholas batum think you gotta go d tier another okay card just like anthony simons i mean i would say the cards in d tier are runnable i personally wouldn't run them f tier is cards that i just don't think you should run i mean unless you're like a big fan of the card al horford like the c tier category cards that are good in game but not crazy and then b and a tier like super elite at their position and then s tier is obviously the best cards to drop so next card is going to be kobe bride gotta give him at least the a tier category is he s tier i would say most likely not we'll see later in the video maybe he gets moved up to s tier but i I would say a tier is pretty fair we all know kobe really good all-around card good at going to the basket jump shots good just wish he had a little bit better sigs you know maybe a better size up jonathan bender i think you gotta go s i do think you gotta go s tier for me personally i think he's a top two top three small forward in the game especially cards that dropped in season five that were promo cards so not counting the purvis ellison and the danny ferry those two cards were not are not promo cards they were they were reward cards for playing the game rng way so i feel like for me personally i think uh, jonathan bender got to go in s tier one of the best small forwards in the game ben mclemore just don't use this card. He's six foot four at the two. Jump shot, not even that good. I just wouldn't use Ben McLemore. Brandon Ingram, I think you got to go C tier. A very good shooting guard. A very underrated, I will say. So I think Brandon Ingram for me going to be in C tier. Has a decent jump shot, but all around good stats. Bill Russell. I think you also got to go S tier. I think him and Jonathan Bender, easily the two best auctionable small forwards in the game. Bill Russell being one of the best defenders and, and Jonathan Bender just being an absolute demigod, being seven foot at the small four position. Blake Griffin, I think you got to go D tier. Not that great in my opinion. He's got an okay release. He's good at going to the basket, but not a great jump shot and going to be a very questionable defender. Boban, it's hard to rank, but I will go D tier just because the fact that he's seven foot four, or maybe I should go C. I don't know if I go C or D tier for Boban because it's a little bit hard to rank. I think I'm going to go C tier just for now. I mean, he is seven foot four and one of the best masters in the game, but he's got 25 speed, 25 acceleration. That's just going to be a huge flaw on the card. Bobby Portis, 
I mean D tier, not a great power forward, not terrible in F tier, but I would say somewhere in that D tier category is fair for the card. Uh, Devin Booker, for me personally, is probably going to be an S tier, one of the best offensive cards in the game. And if you really know how to, you know, abuse this card and just use his really cheesy leaner and his good dribble sigs, I think he's one of the better point guards in the game. So for me, Devin Booker going to be in the S tier category. Chris Bosch. I would say he's either B or S tier. I think he's on the same tier as an Anthony Davis. So for now, they'll both be in the B tier category, but maybe both of them get moved up to A tier later in the video. Just for now, I think they're probably going to be in B tier. But once again, they could definitely get moved later in the video. Malcolm Brogdon, hate this card. I, it's just because I pull him so many times in my pack openings and I always get trolled as the pink diamond. I mean, he's not terrible. You could probably throw him in D tier, but... I absolutely despise this card. I'll put him in D tier just because he's not that bad at point guard. Cade Cunningham, in my opinion, also got to be in the S tier category. An amazing six foot eight point guard, has front clutches, and overall is going to be probably the best point guard, at least top three, in my opinion. And I think if you're top three at your position, you're probably going to be in this S tier category. Cameron Reddish. I would say C, I would say he's on that same level as a, you know, Al Horford, Brandon Ingram, very decent at the shooting guard spot. Michael Carter, Will, uh, Michael Carter Williams, I think you got to go D tier. I mean, he's just not that great of a point guard in my opinion. I mean, you could maybe go C, but I just don't think he's on the same level as an Al Horford or a Cameron Reddish. Aaron Gordon, I think is another C tier card, a really good shooting guard. I mean, good at going to the basket. I'm not the biggest fan of his jump shot, but I do think you probably got to go C tier for Aaron Gordon. Alice Crusoe, same thing. I mean, I like him more than the the, you know, Anthony Simons, Marco Carter Williams. I think he's a better point guard than that. So for me personally, I would go C tier. Uh, CJ Miles, I'm not the biggest fan of this card. I would go D tier. I just think he's okay. Not really too great. Like, I don't think he's on the same level as an Al Horford, Aaron Gordon, Brandon Ingram, Cam Reddish, these amazing uh, shooting guards. Claxon, I do think I probably want to go B tier. I mean, I think I might move some of these guys around. I think for now, I'll go Anthony Davis and Chris Bosh in that A tier category. And then I'll move cards like Al Horford, Cameron Reddish, and Aaron Gordon. I'll move these guys into the B tier category for now. Once again, it's a little bit hard to get all these cards in the same tiers and just kind of ranking them at the start. So I think for now, that's probably what I'll do. Uh, Clyde Drexler, easy A tier. I don't think he's S tier quite because I don't think he's a top five shooting guard in the game. Maybe he is. It really depends on your play style and your preference. But I think Clyde is deserving of the A tier category. A really good rim runner. Just wish he had a better jump shot. Dikembe Mutombo, 1000% going to go in the S tier category. I think easily, maybe the second best center in the game all around. One of the best big man. A very good defender. Grabs rebounds and has a very capable jump shot. Danny Manning, I would say is C tier. There's just so many better options at the small forward and power forward position. Danny, I think you also got to go B. I would say B tier because he's six foot eight. I think he is a little bit better than Crusoe at the point guard spot. So for me personally, I will go Denny in that B tier category, kind of just like a budget Ben Simmons and a budget Magic Johnson. Dennis Rodman, I think you got to go C tier. I mean, actually, I might go D to be honest. I mean, he's he's got a he's got good defense. So I will say he is a really good defender. He grabs rebounds. I'll throw him in the C tier category. Detlef Shrimp, I mean, I think you can make a real argument for him being an A tier. I'll throw him in B for now, but I do think he's easily the best B tier card on this list. A very good offensive small forward and super underrated. Dino, I'm throwing Dino in A tier, man. I think his versatility is super nice. Now, is he on the same level as an Anthony Davis or Chris Bosch? I personally think so. I don't think he's that much worse and maybe even a little bit better than an AD or a Chris Bosch. So I do think you got to throw him in that A tier category. Dion Waiters. I mean, I'm going to go C tier, maybe D. I'm going to go probably D tier. I don't think he's that great of a point guard. Or, or, yeah, that great of a point guard. Diop, I think you got to throw in B. I think he's one of the better budget centers in the game. I don't think he's like crazy good, but I do think for like the budget tier, you got to throw him in that B tier category. Can play defense and has a really good jump shot. Uh, Draymond Green. I would say is on the same level as a, as a Crusoe. I think those guys are just one step below the Denny's and some other point guards we'll have in here, but I think C tier is pretty fair for Draymond Green. Dark Matter D-Rob easily got to be in the S tier category, just like Dikembe, one of the best bigs in my team to drop in season five, has a great jump shot, really good defender. I mean, we all know D-Rob is just one of the best cards from season five. Now, Mark Eden, I will throw in B tier. I just don't like the fact that he can't shoot threes. I know he's a giant. He's so good against Taco, you know, and those Yao Ming, those giants. He's really good for a lot of budget players, but I just don't think I can put him on the same level as a Clyde Drexler, as a Kobe Bryant. I just don't think I can do that. So Mark Eden for me, going to be in B tier. Eddie Jones, I think easily A tier. I think he's on the same level as a Clyde Drexler, maybe even a tad bit better. So for me, I'm going Eddie Jones in the A tier category, a very good all around card. Eddie Curry, I think you got to go... 
I'm gonna go C tier. I think as a center for a budget, he's our for us a budget center. He's one of the better budget centers in the game, but all around as a card, I do think he's got to go in C tier. A really underrated card, I will say, is Evan Mobley. I, I know he's like not got the greatest jump shot, but I do think he's really nice in the power forward spot. I will throw him in the high B tier category. I don't know if he's on the same level as a Chris Bosch or a Dino. These type of really good power forwards. I'll throw Evan Mobley in B tier, a very good defender. Taco Fall, one of the most cheesiest cards to drop in season five. I mean, the guy that can play power forward, he's seven foot six, eight foot two wingspan. I mean, they even gave him a 78 three ball, 73 three ball, whatever it is. So Taco's got to go in my S tier category. Marcus Pfizer, another decent card. I would say on the same level as a Danny Manning. De'Aaron Fox, I mean, honestly, you could argue D tier. I don't think he's much better than like a Dion Waiters. I don't think F Fox is that great of a card. Uh, Rudy Gay, I'm going in B tier. Very good small forward, has a good jump shot. Yes, he might not be the most up-to-date small forward in the game, but once he gets his Dark Matter version, I think he could be one of the new best small forwards. Uh, Gerald Green, I'll go D tier for Gerald Green. I really don't think he's that great of a card. Uh, uh, Galaxy Opal, Gary Payton. Once again, that's where I think he's a little bit better than Crusoe and a little bit better than Draymond. And he's kind of on that same tier as a Denny. So I think I'll throw him in that B, B tier category. Danny Granger, F. Hate this card. I that might be a little bit biased. He probably should be in D tier, but I absolutely despise Danny Granger. I think he's such a bad card. So for me personally, I'm going in F tier category. Galaxy Opal, Giannis. Does he go A? I think he might go A just because of his versatility to play the power forward and the small forward position. I do think that Giannis card is really nice to have at the Galaxy Opal tier. So I do think you probably got to go A tier. Gordon Hayward B. I think he's kind of underrated. I like him more at the two than a card like a Brandon Ingram. I think he's a tad bit better at the shooting guard position, kind of on the same tier as Al Horford, you know, Cameron Reddish. I would say a tad bit better than those cards as well, potentially. Herb Jones on that B tier level. Once again, just like a Cameron Reddish, Aaron Gordon, Al Horford. I think all all of those shooting guards deserve, deserve to be in B tier. Herb Jones, a very, very good defender. Grand Hill, I think you got to throw at least A tier. I would say on the same tier as like a Kobe Bryant type of card. Is he as good as Ricky Davis at the two and some other really good small forwards in the game like Bill Russell and Bender? I would say probably not, but I think for now he's probably going to be in my A tier category. Very good defensive card and does have a very capable jump shot. Mike D'Antoni, I just think he's going in F tier. Liability on the defensive end. I know he's got a good jump shot, but I just think you got to throw him in F tier. Jonathan Isaac, for me personally, going in the A tier category. Still one of the best on-ball defenders in the game and one of the best guys to stop the Terry Dishingers to contain the team max and just to put on ball he's still one of the best locks in the game so i think for that reason he's got a good jump shot pretty good dribble sigs i think you do got to go a tier for jonathan isaac jd mcdaniels i really don't like this card his jump shot is just so bad i'm going c tier for Jaden. not that bad of a card i think i'll also move maybe Draymond up to b Dream on a crusoe might get moved up to b tier later in the video but just for now they will be in c tier jay williams I hate this card, man. If you guys have watched my pack openings, I always pull Pink Diamond J. Williams from the pack. So when I'm trying to open up for Pink Diamond cards from the actual promo set, whether it's the Phenoms, whether it's the out of position, all I would pull is this Pink Diamond J. Williams. So for me personally, he's honestly not that good of a card, but he's going in F tier. Uh, yeah, Jimmer Fredette. I mean, he's still a really good three hunter. I don't think because of his size, I can put him above a card like a Draymond or a Crusoe. I just don't think I can because of his defense. But if you're good with the card, he's still a really good three hunter. Just going to be a huge liability on defense at this point in the year jimmy butler easily going in the s tier category on the same level as a Cade and a devin booker i do think these three point guards are very very similar and i would say these are the top three point guards in the game and i think all deserve to be in the s tier category next card is going to be jj reddick he's just going in d tier a little bit undersized at point guard or definitely undersized at point guard but does have a really good jump shot and he is nice on the offensive end but i just don't think you could put him uh, much higher than d tier joe johnson I really don't like this card. I'm going Joe Johnson in D tier. He just wasn't really that crazy good for me. I'm going Joe in that D tier category. Josh Giddy. I think you probably got to go B tier. I like him more than a Draymond and a Caruso. I think he's on that same tier as like a Danny and a Gary Payton. I don't think he's as good as maybe some cards in A tier. So I think I think B tier is fair for Josh Giddy. Going to be somewhere in that middle B tier. Josh Smith. I mean, you just got to go D tier. His jump shot is literally terrible. He's got great stats and badges. I mean, this card would be amazing if he had a better jump shot, but he just does not have a good release this year. Keegan Murray, another type of, you know, Malcolm Brogdon. Sorry, not Malcolm Brogdon. Another type of Batum type of card. I would say he's like on this maybe a little bit lower than a Danny Manning and a Marcus Pfizer. So I do think he's probably in that D tier category. Kemba Walker plays no defense. He's six foot. I don't care how good offensively he is. He's just going to go in the F tier category. Clay Thompson, I'll throw in D tier just because if you do switch around your switch around your lineups he's not that bad of a card now at the center position he is an f tier because he's unusable at the center spot but if you miss mismatch if you miss around 
huh? If you change around your lineups and like you have Clay at center, and let's say you have like Sangoon at point guard, you have Taco at the power forward position, and some really tall small forwards like Jonathan Bender, you can mix around your lineups to get Clay at the shooting guard spot like in game to guard the shooting guard and then have all the matchups good so for me i'll go clay thompson in the d tier category alongside kyle cover i mean you can shoot the three ball but that is pretty much it dark matter chris stops i mean you guys know where chris stops is going he's going in that s tier category how many cards do we have in s one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i do believe we have 10 cards in s3 right now once again i probably wanted to go for like 12 to 15 if we have to put a little bit more cards in s we will do so uh jonathan kaminga I'm going D tier. Jump shot is just so unusable. I mean, maybe you could go C. I'll go C for Kaminga, but I don't think his jump shot's very good. Christian Lehner, another C tier card, a decent power forward, but I really don't think it's anything too crazy. And then same thing with Lance Stevenson. I think he's on the same tier as a Caruso, as a Dream on Green, a very solid point guard. I just prefer cards like Danny, Josh Giddy, and Gary Payton. Uh, next card here is going to be Lou Williams, F tier. F tier, F tier, F tier for Lou Williams. Luke Walton, I'm going A. I'm going A tier, man. Luke Walton is, is an absolute beast at the point guard spot. I don't think he's on the same level as a K to D Booker, Jimmy Butler, but I think you've got to put respect on Luke Walton, man. I think a lot of people know now that Luke Walton is an absolute beast at point guard, and I think is easily going to be an A tier. Now, Matisse Thybul, he's going to be on top of B tier. I think he's not that much worse than a Luke Walton, and I think he's one of the more underrated budget cards in the game. So for me, for me Matisse Thybul, I think is better than a Gary Payton, better than a Josh Giddy, better than a Denny so he's gonna be at that top of beats here really nice defensively and does have a very solid jump shot Lamelo ball I know it might sound crazy to say I'm going A tier. I don't think he's an S tier card if we're putting like the top 12 to 15 cards from season five. I just don't believe he's a top 15 card. Maybe we'll see at the end of the tier list if we do if we do want to move him up into S tier. But for now, he's still a really good point guard. He's six foot seven, has a good jump shot. He just moves really, really slow and isn't that great on the defensive end. So for me personally, I'm going Lamelo in uh I'm going Lamelo in the A tier category. Still a very good card. Mikel Bridges, I'm going C tier. Good defender, not really the greatest jump shot. Darius Miles, I think you got to give him B tier a very nice small four good at going to the basket has a pretty good jump shot i would say he's probably b tier i think that's a pretty fair ranking mpj also another b tier small forward nothing too crazy i don't think they're as good as the cards in a tier but i do think they're also better than the cards in c tier so i think mpj and darius miles deserving of that b tier spot next card is going to be greg odin a very underrated power forward slash center i'm going a tier man he is capable of guarding the d robs guarding the chris Stopses at the center position that it can be matumbo he's got a great player model in game he grabs rebounds plays really good defense yes his jump shot isn't the best but i think you got to give Greg Oden the A tier category. I do think he's better than Anthony Davis and Chris Bosch at the power forward position and especially as centers. OJ Mayo, I mean, he'll go D tier. He's okay. Not too great at the shooting guard spot. Dark Matter Oscar, I think you got to give him A tier. I will say he's not that much better than a Matisse Stiebel in my opinion if we're talking about value for how much the cards do go for. Like, I think Oscar Robertson is super overpriced. Like, just go ahead and get yourself a Luke Walton. Go ahead and get yourself a Scotty Barnes. I think both those guys are better at the point guard spot, but as an all around card i do think you got to give oscar the a tier category robert pack f tier just not a great card in my opinion paula ben carroll i'll give him c tier not that bad i think he's a solid card i don't think he's on the same level as an mpj as a jabari parker as a darius miles i think those guys are just slightly better so i'll put them in the b tier category jabari's got some great dribble stakes he's got the kemba walker size up he's got the trey young escape so for your small forward who's six foot eight he's got really really good movement next card is going to be poku Am I crazy to put Poku in A? I might be crazy, man. I'm putting Poku in A tier. I think he's so nice at that small four position. He's seven foot, good dribble six, great jump shot, and pretty much has 90 in every single category, whether it's offense or defense. So for me personally, I'm going Poku in the A tier category. Dark Matter Cream as the uh, Bracket Busters lock in, easily going to be in the S tier category. So that's going to be our 11th card in S tier. I think you got to give him S though. One of the best big men in the game. Jump shot isn't my favorite, but he does everything else at such a high level. I just want to quickly see how many cards we got left. So I think we have around 20 uh, cards left on this tier list austin rivers is d tier i mean he's undersized at the point guard spot but he is really good offensively i'll throw him in d tier uh we do have these two rj barrett's i'm gonna throw both of them probably in b tier i will say for rj barrett i think he's on the same level as like a camera reddish type of card so yeah my fault for putting two uh my fault for putting two rj barrett's but i do think they're both going to be in that b tier category really nice shooting guards uh i would say uh, rondo gotta be f tier i mean i know some people can make him look good like uh, rca rca he's really good with this rondo card but 
I just think you got to go F tier in my opinion. Sangoon on the same level as a Scotty Barnes, a Luke Walton. I think you got to give him the A tier category, six foot ten at point guard and a very good defender. And they also even gave him some pretty good dribble sigs. Dark Matter Shaq. I'm going B tier. I just don't think he's on the same level as a Greg Oden, as a card like a, you know, Anthony Davis, a Chris Bosh. I just think because of the fact that he can't, you know what, I'm going Shaq in A tier. I'm going Shaq because I know people are going to hate, hate on me. People are going to hate the fact that I'm putting him in B tier. So I'll just throw him in A tier. I do think he's kind of on that level. Shaden Sharp going in D tier. Not that great of a card, but not terrible in F tier. Pascal Siakam, I think you got to give him C. I would say on the same level as like a card like a Mikel Bridges. Marcus Smart, I mean, you could damn near put him in B tier. I'll, I'll go C because I think him and Crusoe are very, very similar at the point guard position. Really good defenders. And Smart does have a very good jump shot this year. Jeremy Shohan is going B tier, man. He's a very nice small forward. I think on the same tier as like a Darius miles of jabari parker i think they're all great at that small four position terry dishinger easy s tier that's going to be our 12th card in s tier i mean this is just a no-brainer one of the best cards in the game maybe even the best card especially from season five i would say it's probably the best or the second best card to drop in season five so easily gonna be in that s tier category tj warren i'm going d tier he's just not that great of a card in my opinion tony allen going D tier as well he does play good defense but he's just really not that great of a card Tracy McGrady I mean he's going S tier him and T-Mac or sorry him and Terry Dishinger pretty much just run this game on the offensive end both the easily best shooting guards in the game and they both got to go in the S tier category Tristan Thompson I think is solid I'll go Tristan Thompson in C tier a good center and can play power forward as well he's decently fast and is a very solid defender Evan Turner I think you got to put him in B tier. I like him more than a Crusoe. I like him more than a Draymond and a Marcus Smart and a Lance Stevenson. So I think you got to put him on the same tier as like a Josh Giddy, a Gary Payton, a very good defender. He's six foot seven. Uh, Tyler Hansbro going in my C tier category, B tier category, I should say. A nice power forward. He's got a good jump shot, really good defensive stats, and really good defensive badges. Ben Wallace, I think, is also going in B tier. A very underrated power forward in the game. Jump shot's decent. He's got good dribble sigs, and we all know Ben Wallace is an exceptionally good defender. So, for me, he's going to go in the B tier category. Dwayne Wade... This is going to sound ridiculous to say. I'm going B tier. I don't think this card's that good, to be honest. Is he much better than a Gary Payton? I don't know. Is he much better than even a card like a Denny? I just don't know. Is he better than Matisse Seibel? I don't know. His jump shot's just super slow. I'm going to go Dwayne Wade in the B tier category. Uh, John Wall, I think, is probably going to go B tier as well. I would say very underrated. Actually, I'm going to go C tier. I think he's on the same, uh, same tier as like a Draymond Green or a Caruso. Jerry West. I think you got to give him C. I would say low C tier. I do like him. I like him more than pretty much all the point guards in, in D tier. So I think you probably still got to give him C alongside Dominique Wilkins. I'll also put uh, James Wiseman in there basically to be the same card as an Eddie Curry. Really good budget centers. They do everything well, except that they have terrible jump shots and are super hard to green with. Uh, Christian Wood. I would say also in the C tier category, he's a little bit better than a card like a Bobby Portis or a Blake Griffin, Dark Matter James Worthy and Dark Matter Lonzo, I think are easily going to be in that A tier category, very nice at both of their positions, I mean James Wiseman, sorry not James Wiseman, James Worthy, a really good all around small forward and does have a good jump shot, and then Lonzo is a very good defender at the point guard position, so I do believe we have 13 cards in S tier, let me just quickly count, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so we we got 13 cards in S tier. I think that's fair. I mean, all of these guys in A tier, I think are probably in A. I don't think any of them are like must be an S tier category. But yeah, guys, that's going to be me ranking every single season five promo card from S tier all the way down to F. I'm just going to quickly scroll down and you guys can pause the video and you guys can just see, you know, where I have certain cards. If you guys want any explanations, just let me know in the comment section down below why I do have a certain card where. So if you want to see why I put, you know, Deadlift Shrimp in B tier and why I put Poku in A tier, ask that question in the comment section down down below something like that if you guys have any questions about the tier list why I did put a certain card where and why i put a certain card you know in a different spot just let me know that type of stuff in the comment section down below but yeah that's going to be every single card ranked from season five that did drop in packs hopefully you guys enjoyed the video it did take a long time to record edit all the type of stuff so hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace